Hi, I'm Alex from High Central MLS, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a two column email signature in Matrix. The two column email signature that I'm going to show you how to create is going to have your photo on the left and your contact information on the right. To ensure that your signature displays consistently across various email services, we're going to use tables for the layout, just like we did in the previous video. We're going to be including our photo and our email signature, so if you haven't already uploaded your photo to the CMA cover sheet, let's do that now. Uh, to do that, let's go to My Matrix, Settings, and click on CMA cover sheet. To upload your photo, you can click on this link here that says Change Photo. If this is the first time that you're uploading a photo to Matrix, uh, you're going to see Upload Photo. So go ahead and click on that link. Click on the Browse button, and you'll want to navigate to wherever you have your uh, photo stored. Mine is stored on my desktop, so I'm going to navigate to my desktop, select the photo, and click on Open. If your photo isn't already centered, um, you can click and drag that rectangle to the left or right to center your photo. Once your photo is all set, you can click on Save. If your photo doesn't update uh, in that box on the left, uh, if it doesn't update right away, don't worry about that. Uh, your photo is still available for us to use in the email signature. That box just tends to take a little while. So let's go ahead and click on email signature. Go ahead and select your old email signature and hit delete. And we'll start from scratch. For our two column email signature, we're gonna be using nested tables. So we're going to have a table within another table. The first table that we create is going to be our outer table, and that's going to have two rows and one column, and it'll stretch for the full width of the email. The second table that we create will be our inner table, and that's going to be placed inside of the first row of our outer table. And that will have uh, two columns and two rows. Let's start by clicking on the table button at the top. For our first table, the outer table, we'll want to set the table properties to two rows and one column. We'll set the border size to zero so that it's invisible to anyone that receives an email from us. And we'll set the table width to 100%. Go ahead and click OK. Uh, you should have a table uh, with two rows. Place your cursor in the first row and click on the table button one more time. This time we're going to create a table. This is our inner table. It'll have two rows and two columns. The border size will be zero. And we'll set the width to 400 this time and click OK. Next, you want to place your cursor in the top left cell. And we're going to insert our photo here. So we'll go ahead and click on the image button, then click on select image. And I'm going to select this photo and click OK. You can see that once we uh, inserted the photo, it pushed the um, dividing line here, this, this border, over to the right. We're going to click and drag it to the left. Not quite to our photo. We want to leave a little bit of space uh, so that when we insert our contact information in the right column, it's not touching the photo. So I'll go ahead and drop it right here. And in this right column, I'm going to enter my contact information. I'll include my uh, I'll include our public facing website. And next, let's make the website address and email address clickable links. And let's do that by highlighting the website address, clicking on the link button, and I'll enter the website address here and click OK. I'll do the same for the email address. I'll select the email address, click on the link button. This time I'm going to change the link type to email. And I'll enter my email address and click OK. Next, place your cursor in the second row of the inner table and right click, highlight cell, and select merge right. And what that'll do is it's going to merge the two columns into one column. So that second row will just be one column. Now you can see that we have uh, one column here. This is where we're going to place our social media links and maybe a quote. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to start with uh, Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. I want to make these clickable links to our social media pages. Uh, let's start by selecting Facebook and clicking on the link button. And we can enter our, the URL to our Facebook page. And click OK. I'll do the same for Twitter. And we'll click OK. And for LinkedIn, you know what? I don't know our LinkedIn URL, so I'm just going to put a placeholder for now and click OK. Okay, we're almost done. I'm going to format some of the text before I save, and I'll start by making these links at the bottom here orange. Select Twitter and make it orange. And then I'll do the same for Facebook. And I think I'll make my name bold. If there's anything else that you want to add to this cell, you can hit the enter key a couple of times uh, and enter it here. This could be a slogan. Maybe you want to place your logo here. Uh, I'm going to enter a quote. So I'm going to change the font color back to black and enter my quote. And yeah, I'm all set. So I'm going to go ahead and click save. And our two column email signature is all set. And this is what it'll look like once your clients receive it. And, and this will look uh, consistent across uh, Gmail, Outlook, or Yahoo. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. We'll be putting out more videos like this. So if you're a High Central MLS subscriber, be sure to subscribe by clicking on the logo above. And if you need any help with Matrix, you can reach us at 791 3789 or email us at techsupport at highcentralmls.com. Thank you. Thank you.